Aloha Manga Club, it's your boy Lohali signing in with a brand new best manga shipping company in the United States. Last video we talked about the best new manga sellers in the US. Those were Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and Right Stuff, with Right Stuff being the head and shoulders winner above everything in Amazon, honestly being in last place. However, today we're going to be going over everything with a brand new set of competitors. That's right, today we're going to be talking about Powell's Used Books, Better World Books, and finally, the creme de la creme for me physically, Half Price Books. Now, I know they have all books in the name, but what does that really mean? Well, today we're going to be going up against some very specific criteria. One, I want to talk about the user friendliness of their websites. Then I want to actually talk about how long it took for them to get from where they were at to myself, which isn't that big of a deal when it comes to used. Then I want to talk about overall pricing, packaging, and finally the condition that the manga themselves showed up in. So without Instead further ado, of let's screenshots take like the last video and in the series, started. today I want to take you along on this interactive adventure so you can actually see how it functions and not just take my word as a crazy person. So we're going to start off with Powell's because it's the first one that I remember to type in. And since we are not just looking for a manga book in general, we're looking for a specific series, we're going to use that to give ourselves a little better break. So let's type in iShield 21. And if you notice, it pulls up a top three list which i think is great you press enter and when it pulls everything up you get a nice look at what the volume covers are it tells you if they are used it tells you if they are new and it tells you if they are out of stock that is awesome i really 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 love this the only thing that i would change taking a look at the big page right here is letting us know what condition the actual used volume is in that may take a little bit more work but i think it would be totally worth it and make it just that much more user friendly now we're going to click on the very first one volume one and see what this page tells us now as you can see it is a little bare right over here uh I kind of wish they had a either series or a volume description. That way you could know what you're getting into and not just guess. This would be a huge step in the right direction to make this even more user friendly than it already is. Um, as it stands, it also just tells you the condition. You have to actively click on that um, and it pulls up a secondary page, you know, gives you the conditions of each one, which is awesome. Uh, not perfect. I'd change it a little bit just to say, you know, what is standard? Is that good, very good, not good? Just changing the wording around there would be okay. It gives you the page number, it tells you the series, the publisher, the authors, and it gives you the dimensions. You could do it in a little bit different way, but that's not the biggest deal. Mainly, the two things that I would change overall for Powell's is put the condition on that main page and then give a description as to what the series is about, or at least the volume is about when you click on it. Let's move on to Half Price Books, my favorite physical store. And as you can see, one of the annoying parts is when you come in from the top, the drop downs are already ready to be activated, which kind of gets in my way. Again, it's a hassle, not a big deal, but it does affect the overall user experience. I shield 21, press enter. And this is what bothers me just a little bit with this website. Um, since you are looking for not just books, but you can look for movies and music, it will pull up a whole collection of things. They do give you a way to easily sort through it all. And you can see, okay, this works pretty well. You can see everything. I wish they would do it in that tile format like uh, Powell's did, just because it would be a little bit easier to see. And I think that the volume covers here are a bit small until you click on them and we're going to click on volume number 26 rough in tumble and this will pull it up now they do something really good here they tell you what condition it's in uh, they give you a series description and they give you a year published this is all great information there's not much that i can really nitpick from this main page right here they tell you the shipping the only thing that i would change is telling me what condition the volume is in on the main main page that's it Overall, I don't quite like the layout as much as I did Powell's, but the information here is still handy. Now, I want to move on to my favorite one, and I know I shouldn't say that because we haven't gone through it yet, but I think Better World Books has the best interactive experience overall. I mean, look at this. I'm not going to press enter. You can't see me do this, but I'm typing in iShield21, and it just automatically loads the page for you. That is such a unique thing that I've gotten to experience with. It is great. And this layout is what I love the absolute most you see if it is used if it's very good 
uh, the price now originally this does have you know 12 volumes per page i wish they'd boost that to the 96 that i had clicked but you can't complain about everything just a small little tidbit and let's click on volume 37 the most expensive because it is the final this is great because it gives you a nice volume summary I wish they'd had a series one, but again, these are the small nitpicks that you see once you've been doing this for 25 minutes. Down here, it tells you the publisher. It tells you if it's a paperback. The edition is unknown. The sizing. I like this all. Uh, I wish that the condition was a little bit more available, but they do give you a nice description as to what is being used, and it kind of is a nice boost. I absolutely love Better Worlds books, and honestly, I think it is the most interactive, best using site out of both this series and the previous video that I made. This is getting a solid three. I'm not going to go above, but this is a solid three. I think Powell's for what it is, is a two. Again, the only minor change that I would make right here is making so you can see what the standard is in a description. But the overall main page was a lot easier to use than Half Price Books. And Half Price Books is getting that one as much as it's my favorite in-person store. There's some modifications that could be made to make this just a little bit more user-friendly. So let's jump back into seeing my face. Next up is the pricing. And there's not that big of a difference between last and second place, but first place sets itself apart with a few caveats. In third place is my heart and soul Half Price Books. They were $8.70, which means that they had $3.99 for the volume, $3.99 for shipping, plus $0.72 cents in taxes. This isn't that big of a deal breaker, and if you're buying multiple manga from the same spot, this cheap $3.99 per volume is a great deal. But it's still enough to earn it the one point. Next up is... Powell's books. Now, I'm not sure if it's because taxes are different wherever they are originally based out of or what is going on there. I'd have to do a little bit more research, but the manga volume itself cost me $4.50, whereas the shipping and handling cost me $3.99 for a total of $8.49. That is 21 cents cheaper. Not that big of a deal, but if you buy dozens of volumes one at a time, it could add up. But the clear-cut winner, because of the free shipping that is included, is Better World Books. The free shipping was a great deal, and this manga itself cost me $6.03. There are a few things to consider with that, though. The increased $5.98 for the volume itself is including taxes, and it's also including the shipping method that they go with. That's one secret that free shipping doesn't actually mean free. The price is included somewhere else. Now, there was one thing that wants me to knock it by half a point, and that is they did try to include a few additional upcharges on this purchase from Better World Books. One was an additional three cents to carbon offset this product, which I am not upset about. However, it was automatically checked, and to me, that's a little bit disrespectful because if I hadn't noticed, you know, it would have added three cents, and that adds up. That, to me, seems a little bit dishonest. They do tell you that you can click off of it, and you don't have to do it, but it's not cool. There was another option that was not clicked, and I was surprised because it did say that I could choose to click off of that as well, and that was an additional dollar, I believe, or 97 cents going to education. Both great causes overall, but forcing them upon you without asking your permission, not cool. So we're actually gonna give you two and a half points instead of the full three. Next up is the shipping time of these products, from when I pressed enter on that sale to when they arrived in my mailbox. Now, I ordered them on May 14th, fully expecting them not to arrive until June, which is a sad thing to say, but with the current state of affairs, it's not that out of the realm of possibility. In fact, each one of these companies did say that there was the distinct two-week wait time for them to get to me. However, I am absolutely astounded to say that Better World Books, even when I chose the carbon offset, arrived six days, on the, six days after I ordered on the 20th, which is great. And then, oddly enough, Four days later on the 24th, so 10 days after I pressed enter, we got both Half Price Books and Powell's Books arriving to me, both, oddly enough, rubber banded together in my mailbox. I'm going to be giving Better World Books a three for giving me that six day time, and then I'm going to end up giving the other two a two, mainly because they arrived in a timely manner and well before the 14 days from when their shipping was supposed to happen. So, Better World Books, three. Everybody else, two. All right. 
Today, we're opening everything up on the God Punk opening booth. I'm just excited, not a sponsor, just me and my buddy's comic. So let's open up the third place, the one pointer, the thing that I am the most disappointed in, and that is half price books. Realistically, I was the most hopeful for this because it's half price books, one of my favorite places to go shopping. But if you take a look, the manga itself moves around in here very, very easily, like ridiculously easily. The second thing that you want to notice is that I'm almost 90% sure it's not wrapped in anything. It's hard to tell when I fold it like that. You can see the pages do a little bit of a movement. They essentially took a plastic bag, shoved it inside and taped it shut. But let's be realistic here and open it up before we get too upset. You know what? Screw it. The knife is back. Remember the lessons that we learned last time? We cut away from ourselves. The thing that concerns me the most is the fact that the manga is at risk. So opening it up, I'm opening this for the first time with every single one of you. It is volume three of iShield 21. Pages are a little bit yellowed, no real bends, and there are no discernible markings. This is a decent used book. You can see that this is a little bit curved. Um, $3.99 is not a bad price. So pricing wise, this was a decent purchase. You can see that they don't include a packing slip on the inside. Not a massive deal, just a disappointment. And let's move on to the next one. In second place is Better World Books. They actually used a vacuum seal to get this thing really close tight, which is intriguing. Uh, this takes a few different things to do. They have to suck out all of the air from in there and then they have to heat seal it closed. I'm guessing this right here would have been one of the edges that they did that with. Um, again, we're running into the same issue that Half Price Books and even Amazon last time did. The book itself is just out here ready to get bent. Um, it could contribute to everything not being in place. There's no really easy way to open this, but the handy dandy knife, boom. We can open her right up and see that, oh dang. This is what's concerning to me right now is I'm having to figure out how to get opening an opening without, there we go, tearing the manga itself. Now, taking a look at this, I am a little bit disappointed. These are some pretty yellow pages, but I believe that this was a library edition of the volume, so I can't complain too loudly on the price. Oh wow, they made that a lot harder to get into than I pictured. All right, so just a few things to note. Good Lord, it is stuck on there like no other. Okay, there we go, threw it out. Very yellow, not terribly bent, but this was definitely a library edition, obviously here, here, and here. I believe that was clearly marked when I purchased that, so that was well within the knowledge. Pages are a little bit yellow, but there's no real markings on the inside. And genuinely, I'm just glad that it is, boom, due date. But I'm actually pretty happy with volume number four. Now, ironically enough, let's open up the absolute hands down winner from this entire thing. Powell's book, you just you just won this one, like hands down. It's very nicely wrapped, uh, packaged, I guess. There is a tearaway perforation right here, meaning that you do not need the knife. And there it goes. But overall, I'm ecstatic to open this up. There's, it's recycled paper. It's easy to open. Let's see how this goes. Oh, look at that. Just one solid strip. The book itself opens up. Boom. There we go. Look at that. Again, a little yellow, but that's an older manga. Now, if you take a look, same problems with all the other ones. There's just a bit of a tear. Bend right there. But nothing else is really wrong with Volume 5. Now, let's talk a little bit more about this. What I like even more is that they include a PO, a packing slip. And would you, would you look at that? Thank you. Thank you. From Mike L. at Powell's, I believe. Awesome. This is, this is what I really enjoy seeing when it comes down to everything. They tell you how I paid. They tell me the shipping total, if there were any discounts. This is what I fully come to expect from a company that ships out a lot of stuff. Overall winner, hands down. Powell's, you did a great job. You deserve a round of applause. And you might have been volume number five, but right now you're number one in packaging. 
So finally, it's time for my overall thoughts as to which company was the best and where I would make subtle improvements overall to make this a better experience for everyone. So in last place, and the one that I have the most advice for is Half Price Books. I love you as a company physically, but I believe there's a few things that you could do to really step up your product when it comes to shipping used manga. With the website they were a one, I wish that the drop down menu wasn't quite as quick to activate. It was just a hassle. And I think that they could stagger everything in tiles instead of a list, make it more easy to consume. Their shipping was honest, which I appreciated. They just didn't arrive first, which is why they got a two. Their price was not the best uh, at $8.70, but you can't help that. Their shipping and their manga itself was actually decently priced. And the manga was $8, was $3.99, not bad overall. The packaging, you need to step up the game. This is where you can make the biggest difference. Honestly, they used a very flimsy, terrible bag. I think that even a bubble envelope could do better. I obviously always shout, you know, hey, you guys should cling wrap them, shrink wrap them, whatever you want to do. That's just one small thing that would make the world of difference and make it so that I trust a manga coming from you guys as a more secure package. But they were honest about everything, which let them be a three when it comes to the condition of the manga. They got eight points overall. In second place is Powell's Books. They were just honestly not terrible the entire way. The website wasn't half bad. I really liked the tile view. They could use a little bit more information in their descriptions of the manga, making it so that it's easier to pick out what the series is genuinely about. Their shipping, again, wasn't the first place, but they came at the exact same point in time as Half Price Books, so they got two points there. Their price was 21 cents cheaper, and that does add up over an extended period of time. The packaging was the absolute best. I think all the every other company that's out there other than right stuff could take a leap from Powell's book and use a recycled on a uh, cardboard envelope that keeps your manga nice and secure it's just in my opinion the best way to ship anything out and it was great and again the condition that they were telling me that it was in was honest and that's the best thing that can happen is honesty from a company and they ended up getting 12 points but the overall victor a company that i had never even heard of, never even looked at their website, was Better World Books. Their website was so easy and intuitive to use. There were a few modifications that I would make here or there, uh, maybe just a little bit better description, but overall, they had the best website. Their shipping came within six days of me pressing that enter button. Their price was the best at $6.03. However, I will say that with them automatically clicking uh, certain products on there for you to purchase, I wasn't the biggest fan of that. I wish that was changed just a little bit. It would make, it would have given them a solid three. Their packaging, I understand why the packaging is so cheap because it is earth friendly or supposed to be earth friendly. Taking a look at this, I think you could still do a little bit more better world, but it is recyclable. So I'm pretty happy with that. The condition again, honest. Everything here led them to get a 13 and a half. And I would absolutely consider from buying from Better World Books or Powell's again when it comes to online. Half price books, I'm going to stick to buying from you in person because you do have the best in-store pricing out of anyone that I have seen. So to go through the ranks again, third place is half price books, which breaks my dang heart. Second place was Powell's Books with 12 points. And the overall winner was Better World Books. And I cannot recommend them enough. So what company do you guys use to buy used manga? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And for everyone new and old, welcome and welcome back. It's your boy Lohali, and I will see you next video.